Imagine transforming a casual remark into a billion-dollar empire. This is the extraordinary tale of Rene Lacoste, the legendary tennis player and founder of the luxury brand, Lacoste. What began as a playful nod to his on-court persona, symbolized by a crocodile, evolved into a fashion revolution. But how did this all start? Let's delve into enterprise epics, into the remarkable journey of Rene Lacoste and his creation of an iconic brand. Born into a family of privilege on July 2, 1904 in the bustling city of Paris, René Lacoste's life was a canvas of potential, poised for remarkable achievements. However, the direction his life took was one that his family hadn't foreseen. At 15, a young René discovered an all-consuming passion for tennis, a sport that was more than just a game to him. It was a calling. His dedication to tennis was so profound that it quickly transcended the realm of a mere hobby. Initially, his family, particularly his father, viewed this passion with a degree of skepticism. Tennis at the time was seen more as a pastime than a legitimate career path, especially for someone from an affluent background. However, René's fervor for the sport was undeniable. Observing his son's unyielding commitment, his father, Jean-Jules Lacoste, posed a formidable challenge. Become a world champion within a mere five years. It was a tall order, but one that René embraced with characteristic determination. Embarking on this ambitious journey, Lacoste plunged into a regime of intense training. He understood that reaching the pinnacle of the tennis world would require not just natural talent, but an extraordinary level of discipline and perseverance. His early experiences in the sport, though rife with challenges, laid the groundwork for his future successes. One of the most poignant moments came with his initial foray into Wimbledon. This first appearance on such a grand stage ended in defeat, a blow to any aspiring athlete. Yet for Lacoste, this was not a signal of defeat, but a catalyst for greater resolve. Each failure was a lesson, each misstep a guide to improvement. His unyielding dedication began to pay off. Rene's playing style, distinguished by its agility and cunning strategy, drew attention. He wasn't just playing the game, he was redefining it. This prowess secured him a place on the esteemed French Davis Cup team, joining forces with Jean Borotra, Jacques Brugnon, and Henri Cochet. Together, this quartet of tennis virtuosos became known as the Four Musketeers, a formidable force in the international tennis arena. The road to triumph, however, was a roller coaster of emotional and physical challenges. Each victory and defeat carved a deeper resolve in Lacoste. 1925 marked a pivotal year in his burgeoning career. The Wimbledon final that year ended in disappointment for René, but rather than succumbing to despondency, he used this setback as a springboard for growth. His relentless spirit saw him not only reclaim his stature, but also go on to achieve what once seemed a distant dream. He secured the coveted French championship title, a victory that was both a personal triumph and a fulfillment of the promise he made to his father. But his aspirations didn't stop there. Buoyed by this success, Lacoste continued to hone his skills, pushing the boundaries of his abilities. The subsequent win at Wimbledon was more than just a title. It was a testament to his unwavering commitment and the realization of a dream that once seemed almost unattainable. René Lacoste's early beginnings in the world of tennis were thus characterized by a blend of innate talent, unrelenting hard work, and a mindset that saw every setback as an opportunity for growth. His journey was a vivid illustration of how passion, when coupled with dedication, can transcend expectations and redefine one's destiny. The metamorphosis of René Lacoste from a celebrated tennis star into a symbol of luxury fashion is a story steeped in serendipity and personal charisma. The inception of this remarkable transformation can be traced back to a nickname that encapsulated his tenacity on the tennis court. It was in 1926, a year that would prove pivotal in the forging of his legacy, that American journalists, mesmerized by Lacoste's relentless and strategic gameplay, christened him the Crocodile. This label, evocative of the stealth and ferocity of the formidable reptile, perfectly mirrored René's approach to the sport, patient, calculated, and unyielding. This nickname wasn't just a casual epithet. It resonated deeply with Lacoste. It symbolized not just his playing style but his entire philosophy towards life and competition. 
he embraced the crocodile moniker, recognizing its power as a personal brand that distinguished him from his contemporaries. The crocodile became synonymous with René's on-court persona, embodying his resilience, his fighting spirit, and his ability to seize the opportunities with a vice-like grip. The true turning point, however, came during a significant Davis Cup match. In this high-stakes game, Lacoste's captain, recognizing the motivational power of the crocodile emblem, made a unique wager. He promised René a suitcase made from crocodile skin if the French team emerged victorious. This bet was more than just a playful challenge. It was a symbolic gesture that resonated with René's competitive spirit and his newly acquired nickname. Fueled by this promise, Lacoste played with even greater vigor and determination, leading his team to a triumphant victory. True to his word, the captain's promise was honored, but René decided to take it a step further. He commissioned his friend, artist Robert George, to design a crocodile emblem. This emblem was not just an artistic representation. It was a personal insignia that encapsulated René's identity, both as a player and as an individual. René began to wear this emblem proudly, adorning his blazer with the crocodile symbol. This was a bold and unconventional move, especially in an era when personal branding was not as ubiquitous as it is today. The crocodile emblem on his blazer was not just a badge of honor. It was a statement, a declaration of his unique identity in the world of sports. This personal trademark did not go unnoticed. It caught the eye of the public and the media, sparking curiosity and admiration. The crocodile, once a nickname, was now becoming a symbol with the potential to transcend the boundaries of the tennis court. It was this sequence of events, a nickname, a playful bet, and a symbolic emblem, that laid the foundation for what would become one of the most iconic brands in the world of fashion. The crocodile emblem, initially a representation of René Lacoste's spirit on the tennis court, was poised to evolve into a global fashion emblem marking the beginning of an era where sports and luxury fashion would intertwine in an unprecedented manner. The genesis of the Lacoste brand, a watershed moment in the history of sportswear, can be traced back to René Lacoste's keen observations and innovative spirit on the tennis court. Lacoste, always a thinker and a tinkerer, was quick to identify a fundamental flaw in the status quo of tennis apparel. The traditional attire of the time, usually long-sleeved, starched, and heavy, was far from ideal for the agility and movement required in a high-energy sport like tennis. René, ever the visionary, saw not just a problem but an opportunity. He envisioned an alternative that was not just a minor adjustment but a complete overhaul of the tennis wardrobe. This idea was not just about comfort, it was about redefining the very nature of tennis attire. Lacoste imagined a garment that would allow for maximum mobility and comfort without sacrificing the elegance and poise that were synonymous with the sport. His concept was radical, a short-sleeved, loosely-knit polo shirt that was light, breathable, and stylish. This was a departure from the norm, challenging the conventional wisdom of what tennis players should wear. To bring his vision to life, Lacoste partnered with André Gillier, a respected name in the French knitwear industry. Gillier's expertise in textile manufacturing was the perfect complement to Lacoste's innovative design ideas. Together, they embarked on a journey to create the first modern tennis shirt. This collaboration was a melding of minds, a fusion of Lacoste's avant-garde vision with Gillier's technical know-how. The result of this partnership was groundbreaking. The shirt they designed was revolutionary, featuring short sleeves, a softer collar, and a lighter fabric a stark contrast to the cumbersome tennis whites of the past. The design was practical, yet it retained a sense of sophistication and class. But perhaps the most distinguishing feature of this new tennis shirt was the addition of the now iconic crocodile logo, a symbol of Lacoste's legacy and a note to his nickname on the tennis courts. This logo was more than just a brand identifier. It was a symbol of innovation, resilience, and quality. It represented a new era in sportswear one that embraced the practical needs of athletes while maintaining stylistic elegance. The introduction of this polo shirt marked the official birth of the Lacoste brand, a name that would soon become synonymous with high-quality sportswear. The Lacoste brand initially focused on sportswear, producing the signature polo shirt in various colors. However, its vision soon expanded. In 1950, Lacoste entered a lucrative partnership with the U.S.-based company, Izod, creating a sub-brand, Izod Lacoste. 
This collaboration propelled Lacoste into the American market, setting the stage for international success. Over the decades, Lacoste faced challenges and competitors, but its unique blend of luxury and sportswear appeal kept it at the forefront of the fashion industry. Under the leadership of Rene Sun, Bernard Lacoste, and later his brother Michel, the brand diversified, venturing into footwear, eyewear, and other luxury goods. Today, Lacoste stands as a symbol of elegance, innovation, and tenacity. The brand has embraced modern marketing strategies, including e-commerce and celebrity endorsements, with tennis stars like Novak Djokovic continuing the legacy of its founder. If you've enjoyed this captivating story of ambition and style, remember to subscribe to Enterprise Epics for more inspiring tales from the world of business and innovation. Like this video to support our channel and share your thoughts on Lacoste's legacy in the comments below. Stay tuned for more epic stories.